Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. You're welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decisions, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that will be uploaded. Thank you. You're welcome once again to another session of business statistics. We've done an intro to testing hypothesis in an earlier video. Today, we are going to look at one example of how we can solve problem involving testing hypothesis. Let's look at what we have on the, on the board. What we have on the board is example one. And the question is, an artisan association claims that members earn averagely 30,000 naira per week. A sample of 15 members was selected and found to have a mean earning of 28,000 naira with a sample standard deviation of 5,000 naira. Assuming the association's claim is uh, true, as this association's claim is true, can we conclude that the earnings of members is less than 30,000 at 0 0.5, 0.05 level of significance. Now, when you presented a question like this, there are certain um, variables you have to bring out. Now, we're looking for about four of them. We're looking for what constitutes population mean. The population mean. We're looking for what constitutes the sample mean. That the sample mean. We're looking for whether we have a population standard deviation, that is this, or we have a sample standard deviation, which is this. These are the four things we are looking for. And then we're looking for um, the number of sample, the number of sample, the number of sample. So let's find out whether what these things are there. Now, population mean, the statement, the first statement is the population mean. That is the claim of members. Remember, population is the totality of members that share similar characteristics. So now we have an association, an, an, an artisan association claim that the mean, the mean earnings of your members earn averagely, average is mean, averagely, 30,000 naira per week. This is a claim, the general claim of this association. So, 30,000 becomes the population mean. Now, the sample mean, now look at this, a sample of 15 members. 15. So that the number of sample is now 15. Now, was selected and found to have a mean, a sample mean of the 15 members that were selected had a mean of 28,000 naira. So the sample mean is 28,000 naira. I trust you are following. Now, when I told that with a standard sample, de um, sample standard deviation, so we're giving sample standard deviation of S of 5,000 naira. When you are given a sample standard deviation, you will not be given the population standard deviation. But if you are given the population standard deviation, you will also not be given the sample standard deviation. So these are the things we need to work. And then we are now asked the question is, can we conclude that the earnings of members is less than, is less than, this is important. For us to take note. Why are we taking note of this? It's because when we consider less than or greater than, we are dealing with a one-tailed test. Do you 
remember one tail test in the other in the introduction I gave you? One tail test. So let's solve this problem here. Now the first thing we do is to state the hypothesis. State the hypothesis. And the hypothesis is the null hypothesis is that mean is 30,000. That is the null hypothesis. But the alternative hypothesis we are contesting this is that mean is less than 30,000. It's less than 30,000. So because it is less than, this is a one tailed test. And it's a left tailed test because we are going to deal with we are going to do we are going to deal with a less than situation now what we now do the second thing we do is to standardize standardize the mean difference to standardize the mean difference to standardize the mean difference because the sample is less than 30 we have 15 as samples less than 30 and we're given the sample standard deviation. We are going to use our T, our T uh, statistic. So, and it is given as mean sample mean minus population mean divided by the um, sample standard deviation all over square root of the number of sample. Let's find this out. Now, the difference in means, this, this is the sample mean and this is the population mean. So, the sample mean is 28,000 minus 30,000 divided by, what is our sample standard deviation? 5,000 all over root of 15. That's what we do. So, let's solve this together. We'll do this 28 minus 30 that gives us 2000 divided by 5000 divided by what is the root of 15 in your calculator solve that root of 15 the square root of 15 is what what i have here is 3.8729 that's what we have. So let's continue further. We have 2000 divided by 5000 divided by 3.8729. What do we have? We are going to have 1291.02. And then if we will find the, the, the ratio of this 2000. Oh, this is minus and this is minus. Okay, so we are going to have minus 1.5491 so this is a standard value we're going to compare in the um, t-test table we're going to compare this against the level of significance the level of significance is already 0 0.05 so the next thing we do is to go and check go and check the uh, the value we already have the standardized then we will now check in our t-test table what to do so check in and write number three what we do is to determine the critical value the critical value and to determine the critical value is to check from the t-test table t-test table 0 0.05 level of significance and then we we'll check under one tail test one tail test and then with degree of freedom is n minus one and in this case 15 minus one so our degree of freedom is 14. So let's go to our table to see how we do this. So we'll go to our table. Please follow me here. We have, we have, you can see the title here. Distribution 
of T for giving probability levels. And we have two tables. Some, some textbook will give you separate tables for um, for one tail, another will give you for two tail. But this has combined both. So here we're looking at level of income for one tailed test. And we're looking at 0 0.05. Can you get closer? Get closer. So look at 0 0.05. Can you see that? Okay. Get closer, please. All right. Thank you. 0 0.05. Can you see that? Then we're looking at the degree of freedom. Degree of freedom is 14. Why isn't degree of freedom? Because the sample is small. The sample is less than 30. So anytime the sample is less than 30, we are going to introduce degree of freedom of n minus 1. So we have 14. And then we will come over to this point. And then we, what, we, what do we have here? We have um, under 0 0.05 across 14. We have 1.761. One, so the critical value is 1.761. Let's go back to our, our, our work board. Here, the critical value is 1.761. So let's compare. We're going to have a minus because it's on the left side. So we're going to compare this value against this value to decide whether the difference in the mean is significant enough for us to reject the null hypothesis. So to do this, we will now draw this. We will now draw our distribution curve. And here we have our mean. Mean is given as 30,000. And then since we're doing less than, it's going to be a left tail test. Left tail test. And our value the critical value from 0 0.05 is minus 1.761 this is our level this is our point of rejection so the question is we have please come closer we have minus 0 0.15 against minus 0 0.17 so where should it be will it be on this side of this of, of the critical region or on the side of the critical region. Remember, we drew something like this. And the closer a value is to, to the center on the negative, the greater it is. Now, zero, minus 0 0.15 will be within this. We will be within this 1.7220. To, to so that what you are going to have here will be minus one point. 5491 and 1.5. Now, since it is appearing here, that means we are going to accept the null hypothesis acceptance region. It is appearing outside of the critical region. This is the rejection region. So, now how do we decide? Now, let me write here decision. I write Please come follow me there. We have decision. What decision are we taking? Now, this one is since, since minus one, five, four, nine, four, nine is greater, is greater than the critical value of minus 1.761 and lies outside the rejection region, right? We will not, we will, but uh, we will fail, no? We will, we will fail to reject the null hypothesis. We will fail to reject the null hypothesis or we will accept or accept HO, that is the null hypothesis. Then what do we conclude? Conclusion, 
This is how we write it. Conclusion is that since the the HO, that is the null hypothesis, is that members earn 30,000 naira per week. So we are going to accept that even though a small sample was less, that does not mean we are going to reject it. So it means that, and okay, now let me, okay, it means that uh, for this conclusion, there is no, there is no, there is not enough evidence in the sample to reject HO. There is not enough evidence in the sample to reject it. So our conclusion will be that members members and and thirty thousand naira a week that we will not reject HO. So we will not reject HO. And so we will not reject HO. We will not reject HO. So this is the solution to this problem. So as I've explained before, that you have a general statement, which is your null hypothesis, but then you take a sample and you look at the sample and you test. Is it enough? Then you, you only tested, maybe you should test more than 15 uh, samples so that you can draw a better conclusion. But in this scenario, we only tested 15 and it, it comes to the point that we couldn't be just so we will remain like that and accept that members earn 30,000. This is the solution to this. I want to uh, employ you to go through this um, video again and go over it again until you come to understand what we're saying about test of hypothesis. I will still want to hear from you in the comment section and please do like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.